know, I often uh, get axed. Sprinklers are coming through. I tell you that was early when the sprinklers are on, my ghetto sprinkler system. I often get asked uh, what it's like to kind of balance full time uh, police department work, right? And running YouTube and blue eye morphs and getting ready for shows and cutting clutches, and now I can't get in my garage. I'm getting blasted from behind. But what it's like to run, obviously, we're trying to be a nice big. Well, Python breeding company while doing a full-time job, especially with PG. And reality is, um, I went to work on Thursday at, oh, I don't know, 1 p.m. I believe right now it is Saturday at 5.22 a.m. I'm just now getting home. Now, I'm running on probably about, oh, I don't know three, four hours of sleep in the last two days. Got a shit ton of overtime, so that's not bad. But, you know, I'd like to go home and go to sleep. But I'm up now. And before I go and crash for a few hours, because tomorrow I got to spend the majority of the day kind of getting ready for the show on Sunday. I got to make content for YouTube, so forth and so on, guys. But more importantly, it's 5.30, and I got to check on a clutch. So to answer your question, people's question, they ask you this, it sucks sometimes. But it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm tired. But more importantly, we have a clutch that should be pipping now. So I'm going to cut it before we go to bed. This clutch right here, guys. Let's see if it's pipping first, right? Pipping ain't easy. Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We are pipping. We got a pip down in the back there. Looks like a cinnamon. Okay. So guess what, guys? So now, instead of going to sleep, I'm going to stay up. I'm going to pump myself full of some caffeine. We're going to cut a clutch. And then I'm just going to stay up and go to jiu -jitsu at like 9 a.m. Then hopefully just get the, everything ready for the show on Sunday. Continue on our journey. Um, that's what we're going to do, guys. So we're going to cut a clutch. 5.30 in the morning. Run on two hours of sleep in like two days. Made a shit ton of overtime. It's all good, though. But that's reality. Kind of bring you ball pythons like full-time while you have a full-time career, too. Like, it sucks at times, but it's worth it. All right, guys? So it's like seeing a little head poke out of that egg. I'm instantly up, and I'm like instantly ready to go. So we're definitely going to get ready now. I'm going to cut that clutch. And we'll talk about it. So let me get set up. Let me clean up some of the bullshit behind me quick. Talk about my dehumidifier because it's like 90% humidity in here. And uh, let's get to show on the road. Let's cut this clutch. Nice pie clutch coming your way. What's going on, guys? So let's cut this clutch. This clutch is going to be an interesting one, all right, guys? It should be a nice pie on pie clutch. So everything will be visual pie out of this clutch. But more importantly, it's a male we created. I've shown you guys this guy several times. Actually, the second clutch we're going to get from him. This guy right here is, of course, our uh, our pastel banana entry pied uh, that we created. Uh, I think this is actually clutch my brother helped me cut in like August 2021, I believe. Uh, he's about two years old now, give or take. Really cool looking animal. Again, this is the guy that kind of like whited out on us, as you can tell. Kind of went completely, totally white on us. So we're not entirely sure what's going on there. If it's like a, a line of pastel, whatever the case may be. But he was actually bred to this girl right here which is our big old cinnamon pie female, okay guys? We picked up a couple years ago ourselves. Now last year we actually bred her to our pastel ODYB fire leopard pie male. And we had that, that clutch, if you guys remember, that was all shark mouth babies, okay? Kind of disappointing uh, thing, just because that was like we first moved into the new facility here and it was on day like 54, we grabbed the clutch from the other house, we brought it here, threw in the incubator here. I don't think that's what caused it, but we did have an entire clutch, all shark mouth babies. I did try to assist feed them, get them to go, get them to live, because we kind of went over that, how if I created them, even if they're all shark mouth, they're fucked up, like I'm still gonna keep them alive and whatnot. They all, unfortunately, they all did pass away. There was some bangers in that clutch, but more importantly, I didn't want to redo that pairing, just in case it had something to do with, you know, the cinnamon pied girl going to that male, or whatever the case may be. So I ultimately what I decided to do is uh, breed her to the pastel banana and she pie to see what happens. So right now, guys, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this clutch. Uh, as far as what happened this week, um, a couple clutches. You know, obviously we had a couple, pulled a couple clutches, some redhead stuff, uh, some clown pie stuff. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, other than that, though, guys, we're still waiting on a few more clutches to come down the pipe. Another seven or eight clutches should finish around 22, 23, 25 clutches for the season, which isn't bad. Um, but yeah, we're doing well over here, guys. We're cranking. Definitely check out our morph market. I'm listing stuff, uh, I'm trying to keep updated there. I'm listing stuff left and right. Our redhead clutch is all shut out. Some questions in there. Not entirely sure what we got going on. Some interesting things, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
still kind of the jury's still kind of out on them. But without further ado, guys, let's cut this clutch. This clutch was laid on. This clutch was laid on. When was it late? It was late on July 14th, okay? So today is the 9th, I think? 8th? I don't fucking know. So right on schedule with the rest of our clutches. Day 55, 56, the Pippin ain't easy in the World Banks incubator. So let me get my uh, tripod set up. Let me get my hand in any scissors. Let's cut this clutch, guys. Hopefully make some nice combos. And hopefully have no shark mouth. Let's see what happens, all right? But uh, stand by. It's time to cut, baby. Not bad, right? Running on E here. Running on E. So we got two Pippin right now, guys. And the rest of them look nice and deflated. So we're going to move our sensor push out of the way. All right, so we have seven beautiful eggs, guys. I guess we'll start over with the... Uh, the overachievers here. It looks like cinnamon banana right off the rip, to be honest with you. Let's take a look, though. Now, again, guys, you got pastel involved here. You got cinnamon involved. Obviously, everything should be pied. <laughs> it has to be pied. Uh, right off the rip, guys, I would say that is a banana cinnamon pie. All right, let's take a look. I want to see its face real quick, right? That, that's, that's what we're really looking for here. I don't want to fuck with it too much, but I would say that is a banana cinnamon pie. And... Looks like no shark mouth. So, cool. All right. May have had some sort of incubation issues. Oh, let's get through the rest of the clutch, right? Let's not get crazy here. I start counting my fucking chickens. But not bad. Not bad. It's nice to see everything pied, right? Played a lot of the heck game in my career. So, it's kind of nice to have a clutch that's just straight all pied. Uh, this guy's moving around a lot already. Let's cut this one out. Ooh, hey, Bubba. Another cinnamon banana pie? That might be pastel and cinnamon. I think that's pastel and cinnamon. This looks like just regular cinnamon banana pie, right? It has to be. Look at that purple. All right? I would say so. But that thing is really nice. Really cool looking. Nice little pied. Nice little pied animal there. Keep this thing going. I'm going to go with, I'm going to assume they're males. <laughs> but uh, you never know, right? Could get lucky. I think last season we actually made a nice uh, a female clown from a male maker. So that was pretty cool. Uh, let's keep going here. Another pied, of course. That looks like just like a cinnamon pie. Yeah, you can't really see the head right there, that little dot right there. So yeah, that looks like just a nice cinny pie. Probably a female cinnamon pie, female, pretty cool. I really like the cinnamon and the pie involved with each other, right? Because it's obviously that huge contrast, right? That really dark, dark cinnamon color there, that blackish color, dark gray, black color uh, with the white on it obviously looks absolutely sick. So that guy right there, little nose right there kind of indicates to me that that is, of course, nice cinnamon pie. Tell you, this thing you bear, this World Bank's thing you bear is fucking spot on, man. No issues whatsoever this season, guys. Last year, I lost quite a few babies. I would say it were five to six, maybe even as high as a nine. Uh, this year, we had one. That was it. Only the one. Another cinnamon pie. If you look, the head right there it looked like it was like kind of darkish. Looks another cinnamon pie. Again, I'm going to assume it's a female just because of the, the, the sex link with the banana. But as of now, like two cinnamon pies. That was like a pastel cinnamon pie. And that was like a cinnamon pie. I don't know. I could be wrong, though. All right, so there's no way we hit all the cinnamons. I don't know. I don't know. I'm exhausted, guys. We'll definitely, definitely, definitely take a look at these eggs in a second here, but let's get the, let's get the membrane out of the way. This thing's moving around a lot. You can feel them. I'm grabbing them. They're like, fuck off, dude. It'll come out when we want. We're going to cut it. We're going to cut anyway. Whoop. Nice little nice little semicircle. It's a pie. <laughs> Not entirely sure what's in there. All right, but we do got a pie. All right, we're going to wait because obviously that head there uh, is kind of a big indication. Really high, high white pies. The last few are super high white. Now, I do know that cinnamon tends to be super high white, so I assume there might be cinnamon involved in there, but you never know. Obviously, you don't know until these things shed out. It's one thing I learned this season, that some of these animals change drastically once they do shed out. But some nice high white pies so far that I assume is some nice cinnamon, um, but it's nice to get some nice pies on the ground. All right, guys? Uh, not a lot of visual pie stuff this season. Another another one. God damn. Another really super high white animal. So I assume that's going to be another cinnamon pie. Um, I mean, we're doing pretty good here as far as genetically, right? We haven't got any. I haven't seen any normal pies. Obviously, like these three here, also, that, that's a cinnamon pie. You can see the can see the, the brown, uh, the dark darker color there right there. That's a cinnamon pie. And this one right here, I can kind of see its head. Looks to be dark too, another cinnamon pie. So we're doing pretty good so far in regards to not hitting normal pies, I guess you could say. 
or pastel pies. Um, but really, really interesting. Really cool combo so far. Kind of happy on the whole, those four right there. Because I assume they're going to be females, right? Because of the sex link to the banana. So it's always better to hatch out more females. Kind of is what it is. Especially when it comes to uh, lower end pied stuff, if you will. Ooh, what is this? Oh, pastel pied. Nice pastel pied right there. Um, again, I'm going to assume that's a female. But nice pastel pied. As you can see, see what I'm saying, you guys? How these are all super, super high white. Which is pretty indicative of uh, cinnamon. Then that right there, you have a lot of pattern there for that nice pastel pied. Cool looking animal. Again, I'm going to assume that's a female. Uh, just because uh, it's not banana. You never know, though. You never know, odds, gods. Last but not least, the last egg to pip out. Uh, it's going to be a cinnamon pie. To some, it looks like a pastel cinnamon pie. Right? You see the you, you see uh, the cinnamon right there, but it's really blushed out. So I assume there might be pastel involved in there. To be honest with you, I don't know what a pastel cinnamon pie looks like. I assume it's some sort of, like, sterling combo pie. But not bad at all, guys, out of the seven eggs. Well, let me take you guys down. Let's talk about it. We'll go through the eggs uh, one at a time here, and we'll see what we got. Stand by. All right, guys. So not the most enthusiastic cutting video I've ever done. Uh, not bad, though. 5.40 in the morning, out here cutting eggs, doing our thing. Not bad at all. So let's take a look at this clutch, guys. So we actually did pretty good on the odds, I would say, and this is why I think that. So obviously these two right here I'm going to go with are uh, – Males, right? Let's talk about the sexes so far, right? So I assume they're both banana. So I assume they're both uh, going to be males. That being said, the other five eggs, besides this one, all look to be some sort of like cinnamon combo, okay? Uh, just because how high white they are. Could be wrong, could be wrong. But I don't see any normal pies, which is nice. This was like a nice pastel pied, all right? But the thing is, I'm going to assume these five, or these six rather, are all, we had eight eggs. Did I say seven before? That's not tiring. I can't count. So eight eggs looks like two bananas and the rest are not. But out of the other six, it looks that like only the one is just a pastel pied. Where I don't think we have any normal pies. All right, guys. So right here, these two. All right. This looks like a pastel banana pied. Maybe cinnamon involved there. This looks like a, a banana cinnamon pied to me right there. Um, and then right here. Oh, come on, Bubba. This right here. Hi. Hi, honey. This looks like a pastel cinnamon pied. Coming to say hi to us for the first time. All right, I'm assuming it's going to be a female. So that's pretty nice too, right? So again, what I'm trying to say is, looks like we got six females in this clutch out of the eight. And it looks like out of the six, five of them will be some sort of cinnamon combo. We don't have any normal pies with the pastel pie right there, guys. So not bad at all. Again, you can see the, you see the, the darker color on the nose there. See the darker color of the nose there. Can't see that one. Can see that one. This one you can't see either. So with the high whites, it's kind of indicative of uh, cinnamon pies or black pastel pies. As you can see, super, super high white on that cinnamon pie. Then you come up here to our black pastel pie. Same situation, all right? Similar genes. Um, uh, very, very high white. So I'm going to assume that's what they are, guys. So not bad at all. Looks like out of the eight eggs, two males, but some sort of banana combos. Out of the other six, nice cinny combos with a pastel pie combo. Pretty excited to get these things out of the egg. Uh, pretty excited to get a full pie clutch uh, going. So that's not bad at all. We've had an interesting experience with our pie stuff so far, right? We've had a lot of uh, issues, shark mouth babies, or just like reabsorption, stuff like that. To be honest with you, when it comes to our Aussie pie boy, the pastel OD YB pie level pie, we, won't, we haven't had one full pie clutch with it besides clown pie stuff, which still counts, but we haven't had just like a, a, a pie on pie clutch. This should be the first one we're going to get. Uh, that's why she's still on Coco. Uh, she should, she might be ending her ovulation now, actually. Pretty thick. Um, but nice big old uh, pie to him. So that might be our first pie up pie clutch with him. But not bad at all, guys. Oh, come on out. Come on out, homegirl. What's up, baby? I see you. All right. Not bad at all. Give you these a couple more days to cook. And then uh, they all should crawl out. We'll give you guys some updates. So... Obviously, we have this show, guys. This video will be for Saturday or for today. Yeah, I guess later today, really. I'm just going to stay up. be for later today. And we have the show tomorrow. So if you're going to be in White Plains, uh, definitely stop by. We'll be in the annex. Um, but we'll be chilling, guys. So look forward to uh, next week filming some videos. Updates on our Clown Pied stuff, on our Redhead stuff, so forth and so on. So forth and so on, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Another clutch in the books. Nice pied animals. Not bad at all, guys. Uh, yeah, be safe. Watch the six.